Hi everybody, this is Della from The Beauty of Play, and today I'm going to talk about the Vedic method of multiplication. And I want to start by looking at what the standard algorithm is for multiplication. So if we look at a number like 26 times 24, in the standard method of multiplication, we multiply the ones and then the two by 10. So we're essentially multiplying this number by this number one at a time. So that would be 24. I'm gonna move these tens over here. So two times four is eight, and I'm gonna add the additional tens, and that gives me 104. And then I'm gonna take this number and multiply it by the two. And this two is a tens, so I know that zero is going to be in this place because this is essentially 26 times 20. So six times two is 12. I'm gonna carry that other 100 over here and then two times, or 20 times 20 is um, 400 and then that other 100 which gives us 500. And assuming I have multiplied correctly, this is how we would do the standard algorithm that most of us learned for multiplication. I think the Vedic method is far easier and more efficient. So they often use a series of dots to show what is happening. These dots represent the digits and the values of those numbers. So this would be 26 and 24. And this is going to give us our ones place. This is going to give us our tens place. And this is going to be our hundreds place. To get our ones, we're multiplying the ones by the ones. To get our tens, we're multiplying the tens by the ones. And to get our hundreds, we're multiplying the tens by the tens. And if you think about this, it makes sense. When you multiply ones by ones, you mostly get ones. Occasionally you get another 10, but that 10 will be carried over here. And when you multiply tens by one, you get tens. When you multiply tens by tens, you get hundreds. You will notice that in doing this, I'm gonna combine all of the steps up here. Everything is essentially multiplied by everything, which is how multiplication works and it illustrates the distributed property. It's why we're able to multiply in the way that we do. Okay, so going over the first step, we'll um, acquire our ones or find out what our ones are. Six times four is 24. So our ones is this four right here and this two tens will be placed up here so that I know to add it to our other tens. To find out what our tens digit is, I multiply two by six and two by four. Two by six is 12, two by four is eight, and then 12 plus eight is 20, but I have this other two up here, so that gives me 22 total. This two will go in the tens place, and these other 20, ten, two, 20 tens, which is 200, this two will be placed over here to be added to the other hundreds. To do the hundreds, you multiply these two here, so two times two is four, and then plus this other two would give us six hundreds. So our answer is 624. Explaining to you takes time and looks cumbersome. So I want to do this without the explanation, just to illustrate how efficient this actually is. So six times four is 24. 
I'm gonna put the four here and I'm gonna write the two over here so that I remember to add it to my tens. Two times four is eight. Two times six is 12. That gives me 20 plus this other two. So I'm gonna put the two here and I'm just gonna scribble back over here to remember that I put twos at these two to the hundreds. Two times two is four plus this two is six. So our answer is 624. Not only is it more efficient on paper, I don't have these two lines here in the multiplication process, but it, it's just also easier and more efficient um, in the mind as well. So this is called the Vedic method. Let's Let's quickly go over um, three-digit numbers. So if we're looking at three-digit numbers, first I think it helps to understand that when we're multiplying tens by tens or two-digit numbers, we're going to end up with a three-digit number, 100, because 10 times 10 equals 100. Um, possibly, occasionally a thousand if you have hundreds that move over to the thousands. So when you're multiplying three digit numbers, we're looking at a hundred times a hundred. So that's easy enough to count the zeros. One, two, three, four. So we're looking at least at a five digit number here. So I'm going to need Um, a series of five for my explanation here. To get our ones, we'll multiply these two numbers. To get our tens, like before, we multiply these two numbers. Now the hundreds this time, we can get three ways. We can multiply the hundreds times the one, which is what we're doing here. And then if we multiply 10 to by tens, we also get hundreds, which we're doing here. To get our thousands, we're going to multiply the hundreds by the tens, and to get our ten thousands, we're going to multiply the hundreds by the hundreds. So let's look at 321 times 123, something rather simple for us to do. Okay, our ones, these are our ones, tens, hundreds, Um, thousands and ten thousands. Okay, so to get our ones, we're doing these two numbers here. That gives us three. To do our tens, we're going to crisscross right here. So that's two and six, eight. To do our hundreds, we're crossing over a little larger. So 100, 900, that gives us 10 hundred, and then uh, 1400. So we're gonna put this four here and this other digit to add to our thousands. To do our thousands, we're multiplying these two digits here. So two and six, which is eight, and then we're adding this, which is nine. And to get our 10 thousands, we are multiplying these two here which is three. And if I did that correctly, it's 39,483. And that is how you do the Vedic method for multiplication. You can find this Vedic multiplication and lots of other fun multiplication activities in my curriculum on my website, thebeautyofplay.com. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you'd like to see more videos from me, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.